All right, Eli, if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. Our first question today is from Jason Caldwell. Eli, I appreciate it, man. Um, first, uh, what's the excitement level of the wide receiver group uh, with Chad Morris coming in? And then what have you seen out of the offense that, that makes you, uh, you know, excited about kind of the future uh, in, in this system? Uh, we're very excited. Um, we have a lot of explosive plays. Uh, Coach Morris is bringing in a lot of good plays, you know, deep balls. So, and just intermediate plays, you know, get everybody open, really. So we're really excited in the receiver room right now. Thanks, man. Next question is from Ryan Hennessy. You know, everything that's going on in the sports world right now, has your team came together and had a conversation about, well, obviously the NBA actually just came out right when we started this, that they were going to play. But did you guys talk about anything, maybe – uh, about missing a practice or trying to do something in the community. If you could talk a little bit about that. Uh, I mean, we did, uh, you know, we walked uh, downtown before. We're going to keep talking about it. Uh, we're going to have a meeting today, you know, just as a group. We're going to do something about the movement, of course. We want to always, you know, there's a whole, whole bunch of stuff going on, so we want to be involved as much as we can. So, Our next question is from Tom Green. Hey, uh, uh, just going off that, I know you said you guys are going to meet as a team, but just individually, have you guys had any, you know, conversations amongst each other? I know a lot of your teammates have been pretty vocal on Twitter already about everything that's going on. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had conversations with numerous of players, uh, just talking about, you know, what's going on, like how all stuff has, like, affected them and their families, you know. Everybody's hurting, you know, in different ways, but... Like I said before to them, that people just got to change, you know. Uh, we all got to come together. Our next question is from Mark Murphy. Mark? Eli, you've got uh, some th three new freshman wide receivers. Uh, what have you seen from each of those guys so far? Uh, really, they're all explosive, you know. Uh, they all got good hands, all talented receivers. They're all going to be great receivers. Uh, you know, everybody just needs to develop. I mean, that's just being a freshman, so they all have something they got to work on, but I think they're all going to be great. We're going to be ready to play this year? Yeah, I think all of them. You know, Coach Burns doing a good job, you know, getting everybody ready, you know, with all the stuff going on. It's the next man up, so. Thanks. Next question is from Brian Matthews. Hi, Eli. Thank you for doing this for us. Uh, just want to ask you about the offense and uh, – what are some of the major changes for the receivers under under Chad Morris and his new offense? And are you throwing the ball more? Uh, yeah. Um, I'll say his plays are just uh, get people open a lot more. Um, Want to have more explosive plays down the field, of course. Uh, we can be throwing the ball a little bit more. Do, do the receivers like the new offense under under Chad? Yeah, I think everybody does. Really, you know. We're doing good in practice with it, and we're learning, so. Thank you. Next question is from Gianna Hahn. Hi, how's it going? Um, so how has your connection with Bo Nix changed from year one to year two, and what have you seen out of him in terms of growth? Well, he's always been vocal, but I mean, he's done a, a better job, you know, being a leader on the team. He's a... Uh, said everything he has to say for offense and defense. So I think he's doing a better job with that. And you know, he's been he's been a great player. So, I mean, he has to step up his game, you know, for himself. Everybody has to develop in something. But I think he's done pretty well. Our next question is from Jake Weesey. Eli, uh, entering your sen senior season, kind of what are your goals um, for the receivers as a whole and then uh, yourself as an individual? Well, for me, you know, everybody's goal is to get to the league and NFL. So I think uh, I'm playing more special teams this year. I'm trying to get into special teams more. Uh, playing a bigger role on offense, of course. And as a team, or as receivers, I want us to be the best in the country. So whatever we have to do. Our next question comes from Bill Cameron. Bill? Eli, uh, talk about how your skill set, you feel like your skill set fits uh, Chad Morris's offense, and and then what do you want to work on to improve the most this year? 
Uh, my skill set, you know, he likes speed, so that's the biggest thing. Um, I guess really everybody, including myself, needs to work on down the field balls because that's what we're going to be doing a lot. So really just deep balls and um, catching basically all the time. So. Next question is from Jay Tate. Hey, Eli, thanks for taking the time. Um, now that you had a chance to kind of go through practice with Coach Morris, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine days, tell me about what he's like out there when he's coaching and how, how it changes when he's like in a, in a conference room just kind of working with you guys behind the scenes. Uh, he's been the same dude. You know, he's a good coach. You know, he's always going to be interactive to us. You know, uh, he's going to let us know if we messed up. You know, he's not going to. He's not going to bash us or nothing. He's going to say what he has to say, and he's going to go to the next play. Uh, he always says, you know, don't make the same mistake twice. And I think that's what everybody has to, you know, do and focus on because you can't make the same mistake twice. In the game, you're only going to get that one play. So. Next question is from Jason Caldwell. Eli, um, talk a little about the other side of the ball. Uh, a lot of new faces in the secondary that people might not be aware of. Obviously, they've seen – you know, Roger McCreary play, but anybody else on that side of the ball that you've been impressed with so far um, in, in the limited time you've had in camp? Uh, I mean, safety wise, would be Jamie, you know, and uh, Smoke, and then you got uh, you got little uh, Nehemiah. He uh, doing his thing. Uh, he's becoming a good player. And then you have uh, the guy that transferred in, Damio, which he's gonna yeah. be really good. He's gonna be solid uh, corner. So uh, really just working with them. Then you also have Tut. You have Jordan Peters. It's a lot. It's a lot of defense players that's been doing good, you know, showing out. So, long yeah. secondary wise. What is it about Pritchett that that just kind of jumped out to you so far? Really, I think he's just a smarter uh, player. You know, freshman year, everybody's head spinning. You know, so I think he slowed everything down, and really just making more plays smarter. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Next question is from Tom Green. Tom. Anyway, uh, yesterday Worm said that he expects it to be a great year for tight ends at Auburn. Uh, it's obviously not something we've seen much uh, the last few years. So what have you seen from, the, from that position group so far in practice, and has anyone really stood out? Yeah, and uh, Coach Morris always, like, uses tight ends. So uh, they've been used a lot. So they're going to be going doing deep balls, blocking more, you know, more versatile tight ends. So really – all the tight ends have been getting in, so they've really all been doing good. Uh, the freshman, JJ, uh, was a big phrase, and uh, Luke, of course, Shank. they all been, you know, doing the thing out of practice. So. Next question is from Brian Matthews. Hi, Eli. Uh, just want to ask you about Seth Williams and how's he looking. I noticed uh, he lost a little weight going into his junior season and, and just wanted to know how he's performing out there and how that uh, weight loss is affecting him. Yeah, I told him before when he was a freshman he didn't lose weight. He's going to be way faster. You know, he's he's doing good. You know, he's probably uh, doing the best out of all the receivers for sure. Uh, I like the way how he's focused this year. You know, he's, he's ready to ball. He's going to just keep improving every day, though. And do you feel like you and Seth are sort of the leaders of that group now? Yeah, me, Seth, and uh, Anthony or Flash. Yeah. Next question is from Mark Murphy. I want to get your opinion on how uh, Kalen Newton's doing, uh, converting from quarterback to wide receiver, and also how Matthew Hill's doing, converting from wide receiver to defensive back. Yeah, Kalen, Kalen doing good. Uh, he got great hands, you know. When I uh, talked to him before we started uh, like practicing, and he said he wanted to improve on his route running, but I think he's doing pretty good at route running too. Um, you know, Matthew, he's doing well in defense. You know, he's getting better every day. You know, I, I still could beat him, but that's just me. But that's my dog though. But he's he's getting better. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard switching. Like like Noah, it took him a year to you know to develop. So that's what he's doing. Matthew's got potential to be a really good defensive back like Noah McCain. For sure. They're both they're both dogs, so you know, uh D Hill or Matthew, he's really physical. He was physical on offense and it just translates to defense, so All right, Eli, we've got time for two or three more. Uh next one's from Tom Green. 
you know, you've been through your own leg injury in the past and what it takes to come back from that. Obviously, Mark Anthony Richards coming off his own uh, from last year. Just what have you seen from him uh, since he's been able to get back on the field? Uh, I'm very impressed with him. Um, he's he going to be special. You know, the leg injury, it takes some time. But I think he's, he, like, took advantage of treatment and uh, rehab and everything. So he's going to be very good, real good. Uh, Follow-up from Jason Caldwell. You know, you mentioned down the field. And I know that's something you've been kind of wanting to add to your game. You got kind of pigeonholed as the, the short receiver and a running guy. But you and you and Flash both, do you feel like that's a part of your game that can add to it under Chad Morris, the ability to go down the field? Yes, for sure. Not just me and him and uh, really just like Shad Jackson and Seth as well and more receivers. Everybody's going to have, have an opportunity to go down the field and catch something. So, I think that's what everybody has to improve in for sure because it's going to constantly be a thing. All right, we're going to take two more. Next one is uh, J.G. Tate and then Philip Marshall. Yeah, Eli, uh, you mentioned J.J. Pegues earlier. He's 300 pounds. He's an absolutely massive human being. I feel like there's people who don't believe he could actually play tight end. I mean, does he have the skills, you think, to, to, to actually get out into space and, and catch balls and, and be a force like that? Yeah, he, he does. I promise you, he's probably not going to get tackled most of the time. He's he's big. He can catch the ball. He got good hands. He can, he can run routes as well, too. All that weight, you know, he might have to lose a little bit, pound, like a little bit, but he's going to be good, though. He don't got to lose too much. Our last one, Eli, for you today is from Philip Marshall. Philip? Uh, Eli, uh, Sean Shivers was talking about yesterday how the play he made against against Alabama has really – has really kind of changed his changed him. What what have you seen from him this year? Has he been different? And and were you surprised when he knocked guys' helmet off? I mean, I wasn't surprised, but everybody else might have been surprised. But nah, he always been physical. Uh, I think this year he changed. He's he's more of a leader. He knows more vocal. Uh, you know, he's getting the offense up more. Uh, but yeah, he's always been physical. He's always been loud. He's, He's always been the guy to go in and run somebody over. So, all right, Eli, we appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. All right, thank you.